Okay. So, mother sometimes says, goes a little too far and says that all girls are evil. And um, so, um, I never believed her because that would make her evil as well. And then we have to learn a paradox. Um, but then, I found a proof. I'm a mathematician. It shows you that girls are evil. So, here we go. We are going to need two factors. We are going to need that time is money. We've heard that. Okay, I'm going to call that star. We're also going to use the fact that money is the root of all evil. We're going to call that double star. Hi. What's your name? Zach. Zach.
going to do is we're going to show which one is bigger. We're going to set up a function called f of x equals x to the 1 over x. <laughs> okay. So, um, when we do that, we're going to actually find the critical numbers of that function. How do you find the critical numbers of that function? <laughs> take the derivative. But you can't take the derivative normally. There's an x in the base and the x in the exponent. Do you guys remember this? Logarithmic differentiation. What's the derivative of the left? Well, y prime over y. And the derivative of the right? Well, this is really 1 over x times ln x. Or it's really ln x over x. So which could you do? Is this calculus? <laughs> so what would you do in this? Oh, you're doing the question rule. Derivative of ln x is what? 1 over x times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom square. So now what we have is we have y prime over y equal 1 minus ln x all over x squared, y prime equals y times 1 minus ln x over x squared, y prime equals x to the 1 over x, 1 minus ln x all over x squared. Logarithm from the differentiation. <laughs> so now we're going to find the critical points. <laughs> Coke gets the muffins down. <laughs> you find the critical numbers by setting top and bottom equal to zero, you find your critical numbers to be zero, E. Okay, so um, now we're going to go ahead and talk about a way of remembering 